Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steam Gentleman Podcast for Wednesday, July 20th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, we have Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. And all day, Eric the Chain. Hello. How are you boys doing today? Great. Good. Good. We are just fighting with our set. Yeah. yeah. New Introducing setup. this new arm mm-hmm. that is kind of working. Yeah, we, we so made, far. We're, made, we're making it work. We're making it ahead. work. Yeah. yeah. So. Because yeah, we got an additional mic ready for some guests. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we got uh, mic number four finally. Yeah, yes. that'll be exciting. Mm-hmm. Get more guests on. Mm-hmm. That's right. Just besides just Ben, just Ben <laughs> yeah. one time. Can we use your equipment? Then you could be our guest. Yeah, yeah. Guest, bring your mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be exciting. And then uh, we we're just talking about. Maybe changing up our display a little bit that way. Mm-hmm. This a little arm, more fresh looking. Yeah. yeah, and this arm works a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Get this masterpiece set up nicer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. instead of just resting against my back here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the back of the coach. Lizards. I'm surprised it hasn't tipped over. Well, I guess it's got you got a big cushion There's a there. Big lift big, there yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good for now. Right on. Mm-hmm. Well, it is our uh, movie club episode. Every two weeks we review a movie, and this week. We are reviewing Daddy Daycare. No. <laughs> Pretty much. Close, yeah. On roids. <laughs> with a shot of depresso. Yeah. <laughs> Extra shot of depresso. Children of Men. Oh, yes. yeah. Extra shot of depresso. Because you guys, you both have not seen that. No, I, you, have, you, I have. You have. You did. seen it years ago. Mm-hmm. And like, right. maybe like, maybe not all the way through. But mm-hmm. I think I have seen it all the way through. It's yeah. just kind of. I remember there only bits and pieces of it. But right, um, right. Yeah, I, right. I never saw it at all. So this was a new one for me. And uh, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. What a great movie. Great. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it was great. A great great story. Great movie. But, oh, man, is it just a mm-hmm. dark. Shows you how shitty humanity is. Yeah. And see, the, the thing I, I appreciate about it, watching it again now, is because when I did watch it at the time, I'm like, ah, it's a little far-fetched. Whatever. You watch it now, and it's like the way they treat refugees... And how society just is. On how, a whole. how it, de- it's like, how it man, evolved and this increases just, graps on everybody. Mm, like, like oh, oh, taking away people's rights. Yeah. And like, it's like, oh, this damn, is this is starting to look really relatable. Really <laughs> they were onto something. Yeah. It's only 2027 in that. We're five in years the, off. Yeah. Five years away from that <laughs> yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. The one thing I was like, hmm. Because they're like, you know, the whole thing is like they're getting rid of illegal immigrants and mm. all this other stuff, right? Right. And then, like, the world's collapsing or whatever. It's like, there hasn't been a kid in 18, 18 years, years or yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, well, wouldn't you need more immigrants at that point? Because, like, you don't have new kids to fill those spots or whatever of, like... So you need to increase your workforce as much exactly. as you can. Exactly. So I'm like... Yeah. I, I, I would think yes, but it was more... I think there was more an idea of like just fear mongering of like we're keeping ourselves safe yeah we don't want Closing outside outsiders. outsiders and bringing their problems here yeah i think mm-hmm. that's it what was it was. very just much to keep... very, very, that much mentality because the yeah. whole world around besides england was mm-hmm. falling apart yeah apparently so they say so, so they, they say. say that's what the propaganda says. Yes, right exactly. so they closed off and they're holding firm and mm-hmm. they're keeping all the riffraff out of the city mm-hmm. making it mm-hmm. all strictly like just you know good old-fashioned Brits and that's mm-hmm. it. That's all it is, yeah. Keeping out all the oh, the yeah. Fujis. The Fujis, they call the them. Fugees. The Fujis. I, I didn't get the reference. So, Fugitives. Oh, yeah, that makes sense like, now. Isn't just, yeah. Like, Fugis. Like, why are they called Fugis? Fugis. Yeah. Refugees or Fugis. Fugis. Fugis, yeah. Fugis, yeah. Fugis. Fugis. And then there's, and there's Fishies. And there's Fishies. And then the Fishies were the resistance guys yeah. that are trying to help the I still didn't get the reference. Why the they called the Fishies, right? though? But he said it, and it went over my head. Yeah. Fishies, yeah. I, yeah. I don't get that reference either, but who knows? Mm-hmm. Probably something, something the with British the UK. Understand. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, man, it's but what as uh, sad and depressing the movie was kind of, it was it was shot so fucking well. Yeah. Some of those scenes or like what, single single shot scenes. Yeah. Like single camera action scenes. Like oh my god! Like yeah. so well done. And then that iconic scene that they always talked about when the movie came out with the blood on the lens of the yeah. camera. Yeah. When they're running through that bus, because apparently, like when you watch making it, they did it like two or three times, and this was like the best take so far. But then one of the squibs went off and actually hit the lens of the camera. They're like, "Fuck it, just keep going with it." And they're like, "Yeah, this is the best shot. That's just a, leave it, the blood it on it there." Felt so realistic, man. It, it was, was like, such an iconic fuck. moment yeah. and scene. Just like, yeah, yeah. I, there was a few scenes. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a jumpy person. People know that I'm a pretty jumpy, scary. Like, <laughs> yeah. And there's a few scenes where I actually did jump, but not because they were scared. Just because like 
how they were, how they were shot and how the sound it wouldn't happen. Like, oh man, so like, little spoilers mm-hmm. now. Uh, like the one scene where Michael Caine's character is holding them off, and like he tells him to like, oh, this distract them, right? So he, he's got him pinned down, like, and you see how them at gunpoint, and then gun, the first gunshot, like. I so saw loud. it coming. I saw it coming. It was happening. It was so loud and so like in the moment. I fucking jumped off my chair yeah. a bit. I'm like, they oh, definitely frick. cranked. They definitely yeah. cranked the volume for that part. But like, for sure, because it just hit it. you even harder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You felt it. it yeah. Hey, pull my finger. Pull finger. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Bang. Shoots yeah. again, and then, yeah, like oh my god. But this is so dystopian and so depressingly sad. But oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed it. I. I enjoy, I'm upset that I kept it off for so long because it's such a good movie. And much like Shawshank, I'm like, why did I wait to see this movie? Right. It's so good. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I didn't like it the second time around. No? Not, well, yeah, it's, I don't say I didn't like it. I didn't like it as much as yeah. the first time. Well, that's what I was going to get to as well because where I ranked it, I didn't rank it as high because, yes, I enjoyed it and I loved it, but... It's not so much a movie I'll probably watch again and again, like the mm-hmm. couple of like Shawshank or like Goodfellas, but like I still loved. It was still an amazing story to watch and realize. But mm-hmm. I don't know if, how often I'll be rewatching. Unless someone else watched again with them, then I'll definitely watch it like that. But yeah. Yeah. myself, I don't know. Like I mean, from like a technical aspect, like the movie's like amazing mm-hmm. and like action and all that stuff is fantastic. It's just like a couple of like the character choices and like plot like things that mm-hmm. I was just confused about and like you know like like at the we're in spoilers now but mm-hmm. uh after she has the baby or mm-hmm. something like that and they're getting out of the building and everybody's like stopped and just like staring at the baby as they're going by mm-hmm. and he's like they get out and all the soldiers are just like standing there and they're not like doing anything cuz like they were just shooting up the building anyways it's like mm-hmm. why don't you just be like Hey, we need like an escort out of here or something like that. Like, you think, but yeah, it's like this is the most important Thing. person in the whole world right now. Yeah. Like, this is the key to the humanity survival right that, here. I thought that was, that <laughs> yeah. was gonna happen. Like, they get at least to they get to the boat, right, or something. But no, and then well, I yeah. like. Why well, even go to the but, boat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I think that the main thing why they didn't give it off to just the soldiers or just give it to whatever because they actually like recommended that when they got to the farmhouse. Like, yeah. we got, why don't we just give it like like make it public? Like Clive Owen yeah. said, I'm yeah, like that's go to that's, a doctor, yeah, right. Bring it to a doctor. It's like, well, we can't afford the risk and whatever. You know, they, look they at, wanted to make the baby's gonna not gonna be you know white or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be blah 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 blah. There's the whole race thing. Mm-hmm. They kind of like barely touched and on in there said too. Like the moment they. The moment they have it, they're going to use it for their own agenda. And bring and give it to a well a well off uh, black family instead too, because if it was a refugee, there's no way they would have allowed it, right? So right. it's going to exactly they're going to twist it their way. But then again, the the fishes they're doing the same thing as well. They're twisting it, for using their it way. to yeah. inspire more people it to rise all, up. So it's like it they all, just it was being used just, as a tool, and yeah. it, it was just the worst thing. And then it's like ends. and the soldiers don't, wouldn't even know what. To no, like, exactly. we don't really know. <laughs> we don't know anything about the human project. We don't nope. even know if they're real to begin with. No, nope. right. And it's like well. Do the human project have, like, scientists that would, like, mm-hmm. you know, work with, like, the mother and, like, try and make a cure <laughs> to solve infertility know. and yeah. stuff like that? Right. Or There's a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah. So I'm just like, the director I don't know. Like that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how he intended it. That's how he, he wanted there to be wanted so to be many... lots of, like, not, you didn't <laughs> to want to, exp- talk, right? you didn't want to get too much exposition for, because yeah. that's what he, what's the quote he, he said that I had it ready here, because it was such a good quote about cinema and how it's used nowadays. Uh... Let's see here, where did it go? Filmography causes a uh, kind of cinema digest. It's cinema that's about exposition and explanations. It's become now what I would call a medium for lazy readers. Cinema is a hostage of narrative. I am very good at making narrative a hostage of cinema. I'm like, that's actually a really good way to put it because he's not giving you all the answers. He's not showing you all exactly what happened, just a story in this time yeah. and how it's progressing. Well, that's speaking of that too, um, like. Near the beginning, when um, when Theo hops in with Jasper and mm-hmm. they're heading out to Jasper's place, and they're passing by that field and it's all smoldering, and it's just a bunch of burnt cows. I'm like, why yeah. are there why are there yeah. cows burning in the field? That's a, and Carly said the same thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Why would they have? I'm like, they maybe they're tainted. Maybe tainted it's disease. Sick. Yeah, that's what. Maybe yeah. they're they. I, I don't know. Maybe they're mm-hmm. just over. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Like, right? Just just something just to like. Mm-hmm. I don't. It, it, it adds weight to the world, but adds more questions. But that's just it how it would be. But it's like, yeah. oh, I guess that's just how it is, and you just move on with yeah. it. It just like you just build your own mm-hmm. ideas to why and. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought when I saw that quote, I'm like, that's actually a good way to film that. Uh, see that movie. Yeah. So. 
Well, I guess the danger is that, that I think your characters are stupid, Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> you blame the author of the book. Mm-hmm. Well, Alfonso. I yeah. guess. And thank you for ruining the Harry Potter series with Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> I know. It's no. a, lot of, a lot of people say the same thing. I'm like, man, this movie was like, no, terrible. you know who fucking ruined Harry Potter? The dude who took over from uh, number five on. Oh, I oh yeah, all that yeah. Green and who, who does all the fucking uh, Fantastic Beast movie stuff? Yeah, yeah, that guy uh, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> it's like, welcome to Harry Potter. It's a magical, colorful world. Let's fucking make it all gray and sad and shit. Yeah, yeah. Stupid ass. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, after Goblet of Fire, I kind of I just lost interest after yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Five was okay, but then I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, five was whatever. No, yeah, four. That was this one. But yeah, anywho, one, anywho, right? sorry. Anyways, yes. yeah. yeah. You can't see any shit going on. It's all black. But black see, that's why that's why I didn't like the black. third one. It was yeah. because it was, it was colorful, so and vibrant, and well, like. Mm-hmm. Framed, and then the third one was just like super dark and like super, edgy yeah. and fucking. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is a darker tone. It's like this isn't like this doesn't seem like a fun adventure anymore. It's getting kind of yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, yeah. Because the the guy who came who murdered his parents came back. I suppose the twist he, he, wasn't, he wasn't. He <laughs> he's actually a good guy, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Children of Men. What would you What would you give it out of ten? Uh eight probably. Yeah, I got that too. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least eight for yeah. sure. Yeah. It's sitting at a ninety two on Rotten Tomatoes right now for a score. I mean that's pretty fair. It's it yeah. Is, yeah. It's very much a. a, a, a Critiques movie, uh, critics. Critics, critics movie, a creditors movie, a critics movie, because yeah. it's very artistic in its in its presentation, but it's still a good story, I think. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, the single take shots were definitely like something else. The scene felt very Saving Private Ryan. He's like, oh, I want to do that, but that uh, like the this. opening action scene where they get ambushed in the forest there. Yeah, I'm the like, car. I had no, I had no idea where that was going, but oh my god, what a freaking like intense moment too. We're like, yeah. oh shit, oh shit, and then. What's her name? Gets shot and like, oh my god, holy shit! And he like hits the bike and it flips over. Goes and just over the hood of the car. Still keeps going. I'm like, oh my god! Until the cops show up, yeah. they step out of the vehicle and it's just yeah. like, because I I even told Carla, like, did you notice how that was all done in one shot? And she's like, what? <laughs> she had yeah. no idea that it was all in, in yeah. one take. Like, had like, no there's idea. There's a few of those, like the the scene going down the at the end and down in the, in the hotel or whatever that was. Uh, there's another one in the middle that was a one a one scene action shot. Might have been when they were escaping. I think that one too as well. That was all shot with single camera. Whole, yeah, when they're pushing the, the car down the hill, he's, he's mm-hmm. the whole way out. It. Yeah, trying to jumpstart it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was yeah, yeah. yeah that was cool. Mm-hmm. That was interesting because like, it's like everybody's like, oh wow, look at this super long take, but then it just like, well, eighty percent don't even <laughs> notice it or something like. That's like, how you know it's a mm-hmm. you know. Like, but then it's almost like it's too good, and it's just like then you lose the whole effect of like, yeah. man, they filmed this all in one take. Like, damn, it's right? like so much work for twenty five percent of mm-hmm. the audience. Be like, oh wow, I think they how much cut once. I think about how much cooler it would have been if they had cut a whole bunch and framed all the shots. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. <laughs> Instead of just some guy running around with the camera, <laughs> they're just <laughs> acting it all out naturally. But then it would have taken the whole effect away. And yeah, the whole feeling would have been totally yeah, different. Sure. But, but yeah, a very was... grounded feeling movie. Like it just yep. felt so like you're there with you're them. You're there with you're them. You're just yeah. like one of the guys that's trying to help out. Yeah, just there. Yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. And like the a... baby scene too. Uh, Carly actually like was just like, oh my god, that's... how'd they do that? Like the, like the when when she gave birth and mm-hmm. the baby came out. And like, and it was like, wasn't moving. Carly was just like, like yeah. She was stressed out like the whole time, like that whole scene. That that scene, even like the first time I watched that, that one really got to me. I'm oh like, how the fuck did they like have an actual baby on this set? <laughs> like, this is crazy. Now kind of you can see the CGI. Now you can see, yeah. It's a little you there, but a little right? bit. Yeah. But at the time, you're just like, oh Holy my gosh, shit. yeah, shit, yeah. The steam rolling off of it and everything, yeah. and mm-hmm. like, oh, just a great. Like you're just like, oh, just a sick feeling. Whole time, as soon as I got to that refugee camp, it was just oh, this fucked. Disheartening, man. It's like, oh, just yeah. sad now. Yeah. And Carly really didn't like the ending. She's like, I want to know more. Did they figure out? Did they repopulate? Was it the answer? You was don't it know? whatever? Blah, 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 blah. You don't, don't know. know? You don't get to know. That's right. That's up for you to decide. That's yeah, right. exactly. That's lazy filmmaking, right? <laughs> <laughs> they call it creative, but it's actually just lazy. Fuck you, Alfonso. Fuck you, Alfonso. <laughs> Prisoner of ass crack to ban. <laughs> My ass crack to ban. That's terrible. Uh, I didn't know he also directed Gravity as well. I didn't know he did, yeah. yeah. I never saw that one, but I uh, heard good things. That came out almost 10 years ago already, that movie. Did it? Yeah, uh, 2013. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, that's, a, that's another stressful movie. Yeah. That's a stressful movie for sure. Oh, Some but... silly parts. Of it, and you're just like, what? Like, that wouldn't... Come on. And then you look on the, the internet and it's just like, yeah, because of Gravity and stuff like that too. Like, um, 
No, I'd give spoilers away. I'm not going to explain mm. it. Because, yeah, there's some parts where it's just like, what? <laughs> but mm-hmm. It's a good movie, though. It is a good movie. Mm-hmm. Sandra Bullock is just... I came out like the same year The Martian came out, too. Or I no? think so, yeah. yeah. Another another movie. Another good movie. movie, yeah. Oh, yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Children of Men. We've got a... Children of Men. We've got a fan review. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was going to give props to Facebook because they, like, recently redid their website. Yeah. And I was like, it's so much easier to, like, find stuff. And then I get I was, notifications And then now. I spent, like, five minutes on my phone trying to find this fucking message. So <laughs> keep working on it, Facebook. <laughs> Still to fix your shit, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Zuckerberg piece of shit. <laughs> Metaverse horse shit. Yeah. Children of Men. This is from our good buddy Cameron. One of the best movies of the past 20 years that no one talks about. Way ahead of its time with its camera work and its pandemic-like ideas. Another Oscar blunder year with it not winning any Oscars, especially yeah. cinematography. Yeah. Those one-shot action sequences were unreal. Mm-hmm. 2006 was the year to finally give Martin Scorsese his awards for The Departed. But if Children of Men was nominated for Best Picture, which would you guys have voted for? Thanks, and big congrats to the mm-hmm. teabagger. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks, Cameron. For what? Appreciate it. The teabagger. For a successful teabag. No. Yeah. I would <laughs> say I still vote for The Departed. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Uh, I like more. They're on par for me. It's pretty close. Yeah. Like, but the Departed, part, Departed just... I can watch again, though. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And The Departed is just such a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. of just like... Mm-hmm. Then such good performances and just, yeah, ah, man, it's tough because I really like dystopian, mm-hmm. like grungy, depressing shows. Mm. But you like The Road a lot, that's right. I do, I love oh. shit like that. Yeah, you love The Road. The Road I did, but that one actually made me really sick and I don't, like, I would watch it again with somebody else, but I would never intentionally go rewatch it because that movie yeah. just makes you feel sick. Same. Same. That's a horrible feeling movie, man. <laughs> that, that's like a whole nother level. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Have you seen it? Nope. Oh, oh fuck, Eric. That's the next one. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> something more uplifting and more depressed enough as Ooh. is this movie. No, no, uh, something uplifting next time. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing more uplifting than drinking a crusty can of Pepsi or whatever the fuck. Whatever, yeah. Oh, that movie's just fucking terrible, man. Not <laughs> terrible made, but just... just <laughs> this, the the soul crushing? It yeah, is so soul crushing, crushing, especially the end. Holy fuck, man. Yeah. The performance while well, Vigo, I mean, he's, he's the OG, man. He's of... a good, yeah. He's oh, a good actor. God, too, and even that, what's shit. that guy's name? McPhee, something McPhee. That, mm. I don't know, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Young, the, the one that plays his son, Frick, man. Mm. All of his crying scenes, you could just feel it right down to your core. It's like, fuck. <laughs> Brutal. But anyway, um, mm-hmm. I would probably go with The Departed, I have to say. It's very, very, very Yeah, not by much. Close just, call just for say, that one yeah. for me. If I didn't have the departed spoiled for me, mm. I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. But mm-hmm. mm. yeah. that's just on me for not watching a yeah, exactly. super old movie in time. Well, that's not super old, but old enough, I guess. It's, it's, it could be considered old now. 15 years, 16 years now, guys. That's yeah. What, Departed? No, 2006. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I watched that well, in the basement, so it would have mm-hmm. been 10 years old for sure by the time I watched mm-hmm. it. Shit. Yeah. But yep. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still a good movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So was this? It's very it good. was. Yes. It was very good. Mm-hmm. No men were pregnant? No. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they weren't woke back then to have that lying, idea. Lying title. <laughs> <laughs> the men were pregnant. What the fuck? Yeah. WTF, yeah. yeah. Men were having babies. All right. Yeah. Do you have an idea for what to watch uh, next week? I picked the last Tuesday. couple. I feel guilty. Two weeks from now. Huh? Has Tyler picked one yet? He I don't has think not. I nope. have picked you have one. Not. No, you guys just. I say so. Look before right we go me. on, oh, we're in our, in our current five we've seen so far. Where would you rank that? Oh. The five. So, so yeah. at the top we have is Shawshank. Shawshank. Yeah, and yeah. that's I think that's all of our top one right now. So and then uh, for you, then it was what was next? Goodfellas. Yep. Then I had. What was the other movie? The Hustle. Oh, Hustle. Yeah, and Top then Top Gun. Gun. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I think you are the same. i probably put it below uh, Goodfellas above Hustle. Yeah. 
And I'd put it, I don't know, Children of Men is, is above Goodfellas for me. Mm-hmm. For I me. have I have a third as one. Yeah, it's Shawshank, Goodfellas, mm-hmm. and then for me it's Top Gun Hustle, but yeah. It's because yeah. you love Hustle, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Really, Top Gun, yeah. Oh, so good. But, but the Hustle didn't have that cringy singing scene that mm-hmm. <laughs> Top Gun had. No, just Hustle is, is cringy <laughs> in its own way. Yeah, true. Yeah. The Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any ideas? You're gonna come up with one later. I'll come up with one later. There's, there's a few that I've got. Kind yeah, of I think I think out of the five, I think I've done three, and Scott's picked two. So I'm like, yeah. hey, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to I'll have to think of one. Mm-hmm. It can be any movie. Yeah. Oh. I mean, try and find it. Yeah, no, it's it'll be something that's a good, some like streamable, so, so people can watch. Yeah, that, that was yeah, on me. Sure. My mistake. I had to rent this one. Yeah. So my bad. adventure trying to find this fucking movie. Oh, mm-hmm. I got a story too. Yeah, so I go on Amazon. I'm like, ah, it's the only place I can find it, and I'll just rent it. So I'm like, oh, I can just do it with a Star subscription. Okay, perfect. So I did that. Started watching it, and it starts flickering green. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, something's wrong with my TV. I'm like, fuck, this TV's not that old. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Same. Like, God damn it. I was watching it like, on my computer monitor. And I'm, like, oh. and I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to see if there's a different way to rent it on Amazon. So I go to fucking pay to rent it, and I just paid for the Star's rental. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's the same. It says continue watching. I'm like, no, I, I want to rent it off a different channel. And I didn't double check what the fuck uh, I did. So oh. I spent $5 for nothing. I'm like, fuck's sakes. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, I'm not watching this on here. This is stupid. I'm like, maybe there's something that I did. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it's maybe it's my TV. So I go on my phone to watch it on there. And it starts flicking. I'm like, oh, thank God. It's just whatever's uploaded wow. on apparently, Amazon. So apparently I Googled it because I was like, what the fuck's going on here? And apparently, a lot of like the stars content on Amazon Prime like flickers for some reason. Okay, wow. so it wasn't just, just the stars stuff. Okay, okay. Because uh, I rented it on iTunes, it was pristine yeah. and clear. Oh, it was iTunes, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I I went to uh, I'm like fuck it, I'll just see if it's on uh, on all the other ones if I can rent it. And I couldn't figure out how to rent it on YouTube. I tried to do it on my phone and it says yeah, it's PayPal, you, you, and I'm like I can't log into PayPal and go on here. Like I logged into PayPal, I'm like I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So I went to Apple TV, and it turns out because I have a PS4, I get three free months to watch it. Oh, there you go. I'm like ah, perfect. So then uh, I did a, um, and then I rented it on uh, Apple TV. That's where I watched it. It was mm-hmm. on Apple TV, but it was through Stars on there, <laughs> and it didn't flicker. Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, it's just Stars on Amazon for some weird. reason. That's fucking it's a weird, weird. Yeah, that's weird. So that was no, my whole but adventure. But it didn't do that for Top Gun, I don't think, because Top Gun. Was... Oh no, we did it on Paramount Plus. Paramount right? Plus, Paramount yeah. Plus, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was like, what watched the it, yeah. fuck? So I end up throwing away fucking five dollars. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't of know. Of well, I mean, stars was just like. Well, we watched it up to the part where uh, Theo goes to ask for the um, the, the papers, pass, the papers yeah. from that guy up in the high tower. I'm like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. This is this is killing me. And then I so spent what, like 20 what, minutes. What did it look like? It was a flickering green. It like would just flicker green, like a green, like almost like a like film was cut. Yeah, it's or like, like a it was v- jittery. Bad it was like VHS jittery or something. Oh fuck! Like a bad tape. Yeah, it's like somebody was like converting it from a tape onto digital, and it was like. <laughs> Skipping That's the only one stars. It's the only one with like a finest stars to put it onto a Fix DVD. your camera, yeah, Alfonso. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That uh, was brutal. Man, I was so frustrated, man. Wow. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I was looking on Reddit and there was like year old posts about it and stuff. And like, Still anybody got a solution? Anybody got a solution? Nothing, 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 nothing. Wow. Yeah. Like, how did you not fix this by now? What the fuck's going right. on? Uh, we were the only the ones that were trying to watch it in the world, probably. Well, <laughs> like nobody it, else. It's just like on, no. yeah, I don't know, I like Reddit, all the stars and contents like but, that. Uh, of the, the, the biggest company uh, right now still can't fix their shit. That says something. Well, I read too that now that Amazon Video is having a big makeover. They mm-hmm. are. Thank so, God. Because so. mm-hmm. it is brutal. Jesus. Mm-hmm. MS DOS has a better fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. MS DOS. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Alfonso. Fuck you, Alfonso. <laughs> Alfonso. Making us watch it on stars, you dingus. <laughs> this is our Paul Feig. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Paul Feig. Fuck you, Paul Feig. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Paul Feig. Fuck you, Paul Feig. <laughs> fuck you, Alfonso. <laughs> fuck you, Alfonso. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fun stuff. Well, uh, I guess that's going to do it for mm. the podcast. Yeah. I'll have to think of a movie. Yeah, let mm-hmm. us know. A decent one. Mm-hmm. We'll share our. Can I suggest picture? one? James and the Giant Peach. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, nah. that one's actually the old not one. bad. 
Yeah, that that's, not, that's bad. not bad. But that one yeah. used to give me nightmares back in the day. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah clay, the, the claymation, the claymation one? yeah. Well, especially like the rhino in the sky. Rhino in the sky? I don't know. Oh my god, that. I haven't... I, I don't I even watch Because this fucking kid gets killed by a storm. His parents get killed by some storm or something. And then he thinks it's some fucking Monster. mechanical sure. rhino in the, in the thunder. I want to say it's been a good 25 sure. years since I've watched that movie. I yeah, have no idea. Yeah, I watched idea. it once when I was a kid and I'm like, this is just yeah. kind of weird. I watched it a lot Bro, as a kid, games. but I remember none of it. I remember like the the bugs that were that were mm-hmm. that were freaky looking for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And it was real, and then claymation back and forth. Mm-hmm. And mm. they go to New York or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the peach flies. Yeah. Jeez, man, what a weird movie. Yep. Strange, yeah. strange movie. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. A James and Giant Peach review on the back end of our <laughs> Children of Men review. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Where would you rank that in our no? <laughs> Six. Yeah. Six blue. Last blue hustle. Still above Top Gun for me. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yep. All right. If you're uh, watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, hit a bell, whatever you got to do. Uh, hit over. Nope. Uh, if you're listening on podcast service, thank you as well. And, thank uh, you. Subscribe and uh, leave us a rating. You know, we were at uh, Sherida's little camping thing after the wedding. Mm-hmm. Like, how many, like, they're saying, like, how many people, like, listen to our podcast yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff like that? Like, I don't even know you. There's, yeah. like, RCMP people that listen to our podcast. We gotta be careful what we say, I guess, yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Crazy. Yeah. It's not admissible in court, please, and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> also, your, your, uh, that wedding, that wedding, uh, podcast got, like, 120 views. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah. Got engaged. That's all I had to put on there. Yeah. And my stupid selfie that I took. Yeah. At two in the morning when you're like, just like just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Took a selfie with her camera. And then the and then the uh, one that says you're cancer free, not Nothing. near anywhere close. Right. Oh, there's no drama in that. Oh, no. This is good news. <laughs> Don't care. Yep. Don't care. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you're listening and doing all that stuff, you already did that. Uh, go to Facebook. Ask us a question for Ask Us Anything Do Monday. That's coming up. In two weeks. A couple weeks' time. Yep. Still got time. And then uh, we'll announce what we're watching next, and you can submit your reviews. Mm-hmm. Okay. Audios. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. I love you. Goodbye, guys. See us.